YouTube, Minnesota Eric here. So a while ago, I started breaking off the uh, the plastic surrounding O oh, an old 30 year old snap on hammer of mine. And then this winter I hit something and uh, I really I really busted this thing on up. It it uh, it fell apart good. And so I called up Snap on, literally called them up on their website. Says, hey, uh, I'm an old mechanic. I don't have a job or coming by. Can I warranty this? And and they said, sure. So sight unseen, uh, just on my word, that uh, I had this hammer. They sent out this hammer. So I, uh, the customer service at Snap-on was positively, absolutely, smokingly wonderful. Uh, right up there with Miller Welders, okay? So... The, the the new, they told me right off, they were brave and honest, they didn't have a direct replacement for it. They had a new hammer that that uh, 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 that has superseded the old hammer. Okay, fine. And so I get the new hammer. Now this old hammer, it's a, uh, it's an old dead blow hammer. When you, sh when you shake it, you can feel the BBs in there move around. The new hammer, I guess there's some BBs in there. That are moving around, but what I was kind of discouraged is why does the new 32 ounce hammer have to be literally over an, about an inch longer, and the head so much bigger? A lot of times, when you're working with this stuff, you're think, 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 think. You got some limited space. You're whacking the thing sideways, which is probably how this stuff started chipping off in the first place, peening it and whatnot. And uh, the handle, the handle is much like what you would see on, like, if you go to Harbor Freight, it's much like that same grid pattern, except unlike Harbor Freight, it's rounded and it's, it's, it's quite comfortable. And this is, this is a good width for a guy who takes size large gloves, medium to large gloves. Okay. This is just a, a good, good feeling handle. The new handle it just feels like I uh, I can't grab it as well because it's just slightly bigger. This part is okay, but that's not where you swing a hammer. You swing a hammer from the end, and uh, uh, it is what it is. And then the attention, the detail on this, the overmolding, uh, they haven't ground it off like they had on... You can see on on the on the old hammer they had ground off the overmolding on on when when they made this. Here it doesn't even look like there is an attempt to do that, and so this is actually kind of sharp feeling as as kind of a plastic rubberized thing goes. And then the secondary molding this is the this is the thing that frosts me. This this is a softer rubber, and I guarantee you with oil oil that uh oily hands that it will attempt to fall off in fact err, i got another project going on that'll never make it on youtube this is my old toothbrush right and i assure you when i'm using my toothbrush i don't particularly have oily hands but look at what uh uh 15 years of of just body oil can do to that same kind of over molding on on an old Triumph uh, Oral-B toothbrush. It just wears it right off. You see that, YouTube? Anyway, the same thing will happen to this rubber molding here and on a, on a mechanics hammer where you know it's gonna be exposed to grease, slime, oil, schmiggy, all kinds of nastiness. And so, I don't know. The, and then to top it all off, this hammer retails for $120. Now, Guys who are uh, the jobber truck are probably getting a pretty good discount to this, maybe maybe twenty to thirty percent, but still paying eighty five dollars for a hammer, eighty eighty five dollars for a hammer. I'm gonna say that back in the day, I'm gonna guess I probably paid forty to fifty dollars plus tax on this, and I probably was you know, I was probably on the on the truck deal where I was giving the guy twenty or thirty dollars a month back in the day because that's how that's the beauty of these jobbers is they just give you credit if you're employed you get instant credit up to a point uh, and the longer you're there and the better mechanic you are and the longer relationship the the long the higher the bill you can have with these these guys with the jobber trucks but uh, 
Holy smokes, $120 retail price on this, and and I don't think, I haven't actually hit anything with it, okay? But uh, the larger size, the bigger grip that doesn't feel as comfortable, in other words, by comfortable, am I willing to give everything I've got and wail on something knowing that this hammer is not going to slip out of my greasy mitt? Yeah, this one I know I am. This one? Ugly. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the, 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 just even the hard pattern in here hangs on, you can feel it hanging on, onto your hand better than, than this one. So, there you go. There's my comparison with old Snap-on and new Snap-on. Hey YouTube, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like the channel, subscribe! Until we meet again, bye bye